Hi guys, today we're looking at another bit of skincare from H&M. After we had such success with the peel off mask, I wanted to try more. Um, and this was obviously bought before I went into tier 4 lockdown, which I'm in just now. So this is the Petite Pink Hydrating Eye Mask. Um, we're going into winter, at least the northern hemisphere is, and your central heating is probably going to get cranked up, which will dry out your skin a bit more. And mine is feeling a little bit unloved. Um, I don't usually suffer from dry under eyes, but everything up to there is pretty dry and it only starts feeling dry around here. <clears throat> so I think we're on the way. Plus, I've had a rough week and I want some pampering. So this apparently has pro-vitamin B5 and red algae and it's hydrating and refreshing. So, the usual, wash your face. I'm just out of shower. Well, out of shower, dry my hair. Pop them on and give them 10 to 15 minutes. So $2.99 isn't, isn't the most expensive eye mask we've tried. Also not the cheapest. It's in a little plastic box inside, which is covered in slippy, sedumy stuff. And so they are hydrogel. And they've got the paper backing on them like most do. So usually I find it, rather than peeling it, I find it easier to just slide it apart. Um, at least gets you somewhere to, to start. And so these are symmetrical. And they are pink. They're very sheer pink. But it's fine. So cooling feeling. Um, I'm doing both at once because these aren't boasting about um, getting rid of your dark circles. And like I said, I want a pamper. And yes, that does mean that I'm filming this video on the Friday that it's going up because, like I said, stressful week, things ran behind. So, um, I'm going to go for the full 15 minutes, so I'm going to set a wee alarm on my phone. It is quarter to six, so six o'clock, I will take these off. But oh my god, they feel so nice and cooling. Uh, yeah, I like these so far. Right, so we're back. It is just after six. Ta -da! Um, yeah, these still feel really cool, like I almost don't want to take them off, but I need to go get my dinner soon, so they're coming off. And, yeah, so I don't know, what, yeah, you can see they're just a very, very pale pink. Um, I could feel a bit of residue, and oh, I do feel nice and moisturised. Um, I don't know, I maybe feel like I'm a tiny bit brighter, but it didn't advertise that, so I'm not going to mark it on that. Um, but yeah, my skin definitely feels much more moisturised. Um, so if you do suffer from dry under eyes, then these are a nice option. Um, like I said, not the cheapest, but not the most expensive either. And h and is quite, quite widely available, so, you know... All in all, I'm going to put this in the good bag category. Um, my my under eyes still feel so much cooler even with them off now. Like it's getting cooler again. That's weird. Um, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying this. I would try those again if I started suffering from more dryness. And yeah, the skincare that I've been trying from H&M has been really nice. I'm going to have to go and look and see what else there is on the website. So... Hmm. If you've got any questions, leave them down below, or any requests, H&M or otherwise, uh, leave them there too, and I will speak to you guys later. Bye!